Evening guys, um, it's very windy tonight so I'm just going to try and cut this very very short in the space of a week, in the space of a week, that is the stone I was showing you, trying to get out of the wind, so in the space of a week they've cut that down, you can see the farmer's still working this time of night on a Saturday night, they're in there, and you can see the stone in the middle there guys, and we'll get over and look to that someday when the farmer's not there, if you hadn't been there I would have nipped over and Took a look at the Pictish stone dating back to the 12th century and it tells a story basically this is where it comes from the reckon of the Nine Maidens Dragon so amazing what how far that's come in one week guys uh, they've leveled this field as you can see the guys are still working over there and the stone's in the middle so yeah I was just about to take Blue Boy out of these wonders night over there and I spotted it and I thought, wow, the farmer's done that already. And it's a pretty easy. I would have went over and got the stone on for you guys. But there you go. Lovely. Jubbly. The stone of the... The stone. The Pictish stone, I should say. I'm going back to the 12th century. Hey, blue boy. I might just keep this on. I could drive this. One second, boy. I'll we'll just get this out of the field where I normally take them, guys. Okay. Two seconds, blue. And we're going to get you into your field. There we go. Perfect. That's a pity the farmer was there the day, guys, because I would have went right over and got him on there for you. Okay, blue boy, happy days, mate. Let's go. Let's go, mate. Come on, then. This way. Case chain, we we'll need that just in case. Right, guys, good lad. Seems to be quite windy tonight, so. Ah, as I said there, that's a pity the farmer was there, guys. I would have went over and got a pick the stone for one. Definitely. Hey, blue boy, start the show, where are you? Now, look at the difference in this in one week, guys, right? This was last Saturday I was up here, and that field's over there was like that. We were able just to see the top of it, the stone just peering out. And this is the field that had been turned over, the one I was having a walk around picking the pottery out last week, guys. And you can see it already starting to flourish. So that's the countryside for you, <laughs> spot of the week. It's all going down in Dundee and, uh, over the weekend, guys. Go on then, boy, go and enjoy yourself, mate. Um, a concert. Well, a couple of days. Camper down, the big park. DJs were on last night. All day the day, all day tomorrow. I might get along tomorrow. I know it's ticket only, but I'll get in a water. There's a pheasant along there, guys. Can you just see them? Can you see it running? <whistles> boy, boy. Where are you? Come on. Yeah, the young guys are on the bikes way up there. That was a stretch with the panther was spotted on. Big black cat. And what do I want to speak about tonight? Tell you what I'm going to speak about tonight, guys. On the way up here, there's a place called Brigford. There's a farmer just coming up now, too. Just my walk. Two of them are just coming up. Hope he's not walking here. I'll be in real tall. That wind's brewing blue. Look at that. Nah, he's clearing these fields, you can see. Yep. Busy man, eh? Saturday night, and they're up there grafting at this time of night. Best of luck to them, eh? A farmer's life. Oh, ho, ho. better them than me. That's for sure. Um. Yeah, down there as I came in, there's a place called Brig Foot. I was going to tell you the story of the caravan. <laughs> True famous story with the Tasman guys. And uh, I'll cut, I'll give you a seven inch version, right? I used to work for a uh, millionaire in Dundee, very well known businessman, Derek Kelby, God rest him. He was like a father figure to me at one point, old Derek taught me antiques, all the rest of it. That's when it all came in about the porcelain and everything back in the day. And uh, 
I used to, people would say, boy, you can't, whatever, but overlook him on a lot of his deals. He a lot of money in what we did, like, buying Bentleys, rollers, he always took to be another bit of stuff for that. Very well known businessman in Dundee. Son's still in Dundee, a good friend of mine. Family, very good friends, and a legend, so he was old guy. So there you go, put him on a pedestal and I kept him there, and I always will still look up to him, a lot of respect. And, uh, he gave me a job one day doing a big foot to go out and get a caravan. Yeah, no bother, so I jumped in uh, the land cruiser I had at the time. Fires are up. My mate jumps in. And then I forget when we got up, we got a caravan, hooks it up, and I went and jumped in. And the last famous words you know what you're doing now? Have you got that? No bother, Daz. Big mistake. Should have got it checked, eh? But no, no. Comes out the bend and it's a canter like that, guys. It's a big U in the road. I could stop and make a video right enough at some point. And you'll see where the car went down. Anyway, I just remember at the top of that one, it looks. Looks in the mirror like that, guys. No fucking car van. Excuse me, French. No caravan. But of course, when we're white, <laughs> still had to pick them up. Go on, Blue, get on. Go on. Shave shower shampoo, smelling beautiful. <laughs> 30 quid spoiled. But uh, on that one, guys, back to the story of Luke's, and uh, there's no bloody caravan there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> stop, boom. Before, before I physically and verbally set about the fucking lunatic in the front of me, you told me it was hooked on. <laughs> well, then again, I should have checked. But, uh, I mean, you tongue back down, whoosh, down the bray, and the way the fucking car was coming down the hill. Stop the luck. Wow, somebody was looking after me that day as well, like that. Bump, 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 and leveled up, leveled up flat, and I was sitting there. Now, could have went left, could have went right, wrote it off, thousands and thousands of pounds worth of a very expensive caravan back in the day, and, uh, yeah, so I get it hooked up myself, I'm raging, screaming at this lunatic mate of mine, I'll keep his name over, <laughs> and, uh, gets in the jeep, where we goes, Gets in old Derek's pad, reverses the car, man. And, <laughs> Any problems, youngin? I'm like, ah, no, oh, brilliant, mate. <laughs> Brand new Derek. He gives us my wages. You know, there he goes, son. He always looked after us. Awesome. So he did. Always looked after us. He's always giving us cars and all that. And carry on. He was crazy. I used to go through places like Wish on that look after him. There was always a lot of money involved. And, um, yeah, I was carrying a nine mile back then. And I always took my piece with it. was just the way it was back then. It's the life I was in. And Derek was always wheeling and dealing at all sorts of levels. But he always looked after us. And as I said, I heard him a sort of fatherly figure, uh, mentor level. And he was the first one to really sit down and teach us a bit about the antiques. Uh, look at that, beautiful. Old tree, you could tell some stories, I could tell. My boy was looking for that pheasant, mate, but he must be hiding. Hey, And the stone's way back there, so we won't catch it. I thought them farmers weren't going to come back, I'd actually go over and... Nah, I'll make a whole new different video of that one, guys. Yeah. So, hope you're having a nice weekend, everybody. As you can see, it's been a cracking day up here in Scotland. As I say, the uh, city's pretty sealed off because of that. Uh, well, where I normally take them out, on that end, to the graves and all that, the other side, they're all sealed off with road cones, you know what I mean, because of this big uh, festival in the park, guys. Uh, Camper Down Park. So I'll love you and leave you on that one, guys. Peace out. Anything you see, Mr. No Comment? Anything you see, mate? Nah. Nah. Peace out. <laughs>